And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, uh, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance. For my people, marriage is, how do you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother it is made in heaven and in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think so. <laughs> For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable, like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts, be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies, and she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom, imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically to make me all personal. Is a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway. The marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Un sueño. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer. A dreamer. A man who has knees. But an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office furniture and the Icarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from above. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrummy brush and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bad. He's thinking about, well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and uh, come here and go there smiling? What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you more likely, your marriage is ruined, Laszlo. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles rolled into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings, because that is what it is, a new beginning, Laszlo. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo, a miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs in a controlled environment. I give him passion. <laughs> what? With you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last Lloyd, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. 
which he can take home to his wife, of course. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to the pleasure he has lost, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're going to open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A me, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat porker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmhouse. And now, Jerry is safe. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janice. I love the show and always wanted to call in, but you really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in your beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women, too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a New Beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. Listen, Janice, you call me Cinco, 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 Nueve Dos, Nueve Dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word. A travesty. I work miracles, senor, not pimping. I save. I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who Cut Up My Tongue. <laughs> who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, where in Latin? I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? Too happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off. Get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? 
I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking kids is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard my spleen fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now. I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, and vermin than you can imagine. And I love it. This is such a great country. I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had beaten me senseless. <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees? Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee supper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right. Thanks, caller.